What's up, guys? Um, it's a shame that we even got to make these type of videos, but we're going to do it anyway. Talk about Moses Ingram. Um, first, we're going to listen to what she got to say. Then we'll, 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 you know, talk about it. So let's listen. Long story short, um, there are hundreds of those. Hundreds. Um, and I also see those of you out there who put on a cape for me. And that really does mean the world to me because, you know, there's nothing anybody can do about this. There's nothing anybody can do to stop this hate. And so I question what my purpose is and even being here in front of you saying that this is happening. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, but I think the thing that bothers me is that like sort of this feeling that I've had inside of myself, which no one has told me, but this feeling of like, I just got to shut up and take it. You know, I just kind of got to bear it. Um, and I'm not built like that. So <laughs> I really just wanted to come on, I think, and say thank you to the people who show up for me in the comments and the places that I'm not going to put myself. And um, to the rest of y'all, y'all weird. <laughs> all right, let's speak on it. Um, all right, guys, listen. Um, it's never okay for people to attack someone because of what color their skin is. Being a black, Amer um, brown American man, I've experienced racism. Um, um in my face countless times so i've been places i for y'all who don't know i'm from mississippi born and raised in mississippi jackson mississippi born in vicksburg mississippi i'm from the dirty south so you can't tell me nothing on this topic unless you've been there and you and unless you know what i'm talking about i've experienced it i wasn't raised to be that way i wasn't raised to pay attention to that stuff I wasn't raised to let those things hold me back or be things that hinder me in life. So I have not, but I have experienced them. And I'm going to tell you something. Every time something happens that's similar to this or worse, it's heart aching. You see on back in my wall, I have Star Wars stuff. And let's be honest. It are, main, it are characters that are brown color or, or minorities that we call them in this country, which is degrading too because they're less people um, in Star Wars. But versus the amount of non-brown people, of people um, of um, minority in Star Wars, it's not even level playing ground. I've seen some people making videos, and the truth is, that's a whole other subject. You can't put up a small list of people, brown people, of people that minority that we call minorities, versus a huge catalog of people who are not brown people, and say it's fair, even in Star Wars, because it's not. We have no main characters that are globally humongous versus the characters that ain't brown in Star Wars. And I'm a Star Wars lover. And I know this. So for her to be front and center and to receive all these unnecessary threats is sad, man. I have a black, I have a brown daughter. I have a brown little girl. I don't want her to grow up in the world where well, she can't do anything because, she, or when she do, she get this type of treatment that Moses is getting because of just what she look like. Y'all not judging. Y'all don't, I don't see nobody going to the Asian director and saying you wrote ter terribly. I see them judging the character, which is fine. Judge the character in the, sh in the show. That's fine with me. Y'all can judge the character, but don't judge the person because of what they look like, man. Look at me. We can't, we're all born this way. We can't do nothing about it. People, I, I don't think people really understand how disheartening it is to be a brown person. You just brown. You didn't ask to be brown. I'm pretty sure you guys asked to be white. You didn't ask to be Asian. Um, didn't ask to be whatever. Mexican, Puerto Rican, none of this. All this look different. I mean, come on, guys. All this hate has to stop, man. They shouldn't have to warn a person. I seen some a couple weeks ago. They had to like tell her like to 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 um prepare herself for it. Like, 
who even has to prepare themselves for racism? I mean, in everyday life, yeah, but come on, really? So let me ask y'all something, and pretty sure people won't be honest, but if she was a non-brown person, with maybe the blunt eyed blue eyes thing that we know is the thing they push heavily in this country for decades as the ideal of beauty. If she was that, would we have all this backlash? Probably not. Probably not. Let's be honest. Probably not. I have not heard nothing like that towards a person that wasn't of what we call in this country minorities because we're a small percentage of the community. It's a shame, man. We human beings, too. And my prayers go out to you, Moses, man. Nor to none since. People tell me about you're going to die. And you this and N-word this. And making unnecessary things. Videos called darkies and all this unnecessary stuff. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. It's unnecessary. And my prayers are with you. I think that you're playing a awesome, doing an awesome job in Kenobi the last two episodes. Awesome. Do I agree with all the, the choices the, the director made with writing, the writers did with writing your character? No. Some of it I think is baloney. But that don't got nothing to do with you as a person. I think you, you're an amazing actress. And you keep doing your thing. And I hope that you're in Star Wars movies and other genres of movies and stuff that we aren't accepted because until we break into these doors and keep breaking in we're never going to be seen right and if we don't whatever and you are totally right when you said that which people who aren't uh, people of color are not going to understand this which is funny seeing some of them even make live streams about it as if it's not a thing um she's right when she says she don't even understand why she says something because Nothing can change it. And all you can do is be a better person yourself because you can't change these things. They're going to happen. They continue to happen. Nothing we can do about them. So shout out to you, Moses. Keep your head up, sister. And I'll be watching and supporting you. Send my prayers your way. God bless you. I'll see you next one. Peace. And if you're a person subscribing to my channel, watch my channel that is on that other side of nonsense, you can go. Because I don't want you here. This is a place for everybody. I don't care what color you are. So we don't tolerate that here. In my community, it's no toler we're not tolerating it. I have no tolerance for it. None. I said my piece and I'm done with it. See you next one. Peace.